Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful divine feminines. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds, or your collective reading, I should say. I will, each and every one of you are enjoying your free day, Friday. Today is a beautiful energy of Mama Oshun, so maybe you all are taking the opportunity to love on yourselves, to really tap into that divine feminine energy. I'm sending infinite love and light to each and every one of you. I will you are all in a very sound mind, body, and soul center. I will that everything is everything on your side of the planet because everything is everything on minds. Uh, welcome to any one of you that may be new. My name is Q, as I've said, and I am here to do your reading. So the spiel, the way that I do things on my side of the planet is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Uh, my readings are general. They're also uh, timeless. So whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that it has done so. Um, if you find that the reading does resonate, even though it is a collective reading, then don't be shy, you know, subscribe, hit that like button. Um, if you feel so inclined, you can even share the video. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload because it tends to be sporadic because I only upload when spirit encourages me to do so. Um, I was attempting to do like a yin and yang reading the other day and Scorpio kept slipping out of my mouth, kept coming out. And so I took that as spirit saying, no, this is a Scorpio reading. So I just uh, changed, <laughs> you know, the title from uh, yin and yang and I just had, you know, proceeded with uploading it for the Scorpio Collective. This here is for the Yin Collective. So this is whether you are a Scorpio, a Pisces, Taurus, V, Virgo, whatever you may be, this reading will um, be focusing and honing in on uh, your Yin energy. Even if you're masculine, uh, you could be really, you know, tapping into your uh, feminine energy at this time. Uh, so I welcome each and every one of you um, to the Soul Tribe Soul Family, and I will that the reading does resonate and that you do stay a while. Uh, Shay, if you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. <laughs> love is love is love to all you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for the rotation of love. You already know I sent it right on back to your infinitely beloved. Uh, to all you haters, peace out. <laughs> Be gone. Because <laughs> I still got a couple of them lingering. But it's all good. As I shall continue on with the continue on. So let's tap into this energy. We're going to see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm just going to tap into the energy. So whatever comes out, that's what's coming out. Ashe. So we will do a uh, sound bath and then we shall proceed with the read. Uh, before we do, I would like to do some house cleaning. And I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. So, as I've promised, we are going to go ahead and delve into a sound bath. Um, I have been instructed to do this uh, in a form of reading. Spirit just kind of said it is very important to, you know, ensure that the energy of people that are tuning and tapping into these readings are grounded, you know. So you have to be grounded um, in order to receive these transmissions and these downloads. So that is the reason why I have been incorporating these sound baths uh, before starting the reading. And it is a great way for you to 
you know, be grounded, but also to be open to uh, and receptive to the messages that are coming through Ashe. So today I will be using my djembe drum and we shall proceed with the read as I instructed. Now I will give you a forewarning. Um, this will be loud. So if you uh, feel like, you know, if you feel like you need to turn the volume down or remove your headphones, now is the time to do so because this will, uh, the sound will pick up. Okay. So before we do anything, I'd like to start off with three uh, strong inhales through your nasal, your nose, and then exhale out of your mouth. I like to start off with three. Three is a powerful, magical number. And then we shall proceed with the Ashe. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a deep inhale through the nasal. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. so I could hold the drum. I'm gonna do it like this. sound bath beautiful now I am no professional but I do like to feel that energy that energy can just get it all right up in here so we're gonna have a dope reading I'm calling it <laughs> speaking it into existence uh, so it is what time is it is 449 on the clock and I'm just gonna show you just so you can see there it is 449 so that's pretty much like 4 4. So 44 is a powerful number that also breaks down to 8. So just as I said, I'm a call that it's going to be a powerful reading. I feel like maybe you're going to get some great news. Maybe you're going to find out that you have some wish fulfillment and some blessings and some amazing energy that's going to be flowing in. So let's see what we have playing on the playlist, beloveds. So we have, um, who is this? All right, so look what's playing. <laughs> so I guess we can't get out of this energy. I mean, I don't know what it is. So we got Faith Evans, and it says falling in love. So Faith is giving me the energy of like, you know, you all have been walking in faith. You all have been holding on um, to hope, maybe remaining or maintaining a sense of optimism uh, through, you know, through some difficulties. You know, it's like it, it, that's what happens. Uh, when you go through things, um, I feel like if you was going through hell, you all have um, continued to go. Like you didn't stop. You didn't just fall back. You didn't stay there, stay stuck. You didn't stay stuck in an energy um, of like self-loathing or uh, woe is me. I feel like you all just continue to persevere. Um, whatever is coming in, I feel like this is something that you have earned. I don't feel like this is something that's just being given to you. I feel like you all have earned this and with falling in love, 
Um, I definitely feel like maybe this is something you may have done in the past with uh, falling in love. Maybe you fell in love with someone and you walked away because that eight could also be associated with like the eight of cups I'm picking up. So you could have fallen in love with someone, maybe the, the, the gesture or, or there was a lack of reciprocity and you had no choice but to walk away opposed to staying and continuing to give to someone that may not have been um, reciprocating. Um, whatever the case may be, I feel like because you learned that self-love is more attractive, because you focused more on you, um, prioritized you, and, and, and displayed that sense of uh, self-respect, integrity, um, that's why there could be some sort of wish fulfillment or some sort of blessing. Um, as I always say, falling in love um, necessarily isn't how uh, you would want to approach or um, develop a new love ship. I would suggest rising in love. I would suggest you look at it from the perspective of rising in love opposed to falling in love. Because when you fall in love, it's like it's it's almost like there's this this dismal uh, energy. It's like you know because it's not it's not a high. Um, I just feel like when you're falling, it's obviously it's a low. You're you're falling. Things can get out of hand. Things can get out of control. Um, and so you know maybe that's something that I'm just picking up on with that number eight with the you know eight of cups like walking away. But we shall see uh, what comes out with the cards. So we're going to start off as usual, as per usual, with the numerology. You know, I like to start off with the numbers and build from there. So that's the foundation that I set, and then we build from there. I'll show you. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, we have 55, and this is, uh, and it's, I just saw 1138, which is 1111. So that is the number and um, of the twin flame union of a very um, powerful and sacred connection uh, that you may have with someone with falling in love by Faith Evans maybe someone from your past um, you could have been holding on to this energy or this energy could be holding on to you uh, and I feel like with that eight maybe there's something uh, that could be rushing in communication could be rushing in because I'm seeing like the eight of wands uh, this is unexpected uh, maybe you all have like refocused all of your energy on building some sort of um, you know building up some sort of of um, um, business so maybe focusing on your careers maybe focusing on your household your stability your uh, security your family um, but with this 55 that reduces to one and one is all about new beginnings fresh starts uh, so I do feel like you are on the precipice of something new you're on the precipice of something exciting um, and I feel you're you're very passionate about whatever this is uh, because this is something that you are being more daring I'm hearing the word daring in my mind's eye so it's like you're, you're, you're there's like there's no um inhibitions there's no fears it's like you are just just going after it you're taking that leap of faith um because faith evans is um you know the, the name of the artist that's playing so i'm I, I see you taking a leap of faith and being more fearless you're fearing less than maybe you may have in the past uh, maybe in the past you could have been more reserved or you could have had like really negative self-talk um, maybe you lacked confidence in certain areas but now it's like you're willing to be more daring more risky um, you're willing to fail now um, just to see you know what the experience is about you know that's what life is about we learn from the mistakes and then we we build from there you know what I'm saying so I feel like there's something really exciting something new uh, this could even be a person that could be entering your life the number one is a very felicious masculine number um, so this could be someone coming in for a new beginning uh, as I said someone that wants to take a leap of faith come towards you uh, it's just like um, someone very passionate uh, very very um, fiery a very intense energy on the split we have uh, patience so you have one and two so this reduces to three so I feel with that number three that's associated with the Empress uh, so you all are absolutely um, very attractive right now so you could be really um, you know attracting things to you people to you circumstances opportunities um you're you're just really magnetic your energy is very alluring it's very uh, mesmerizing um it, it's also something that's very um 
like it's it's intense it's like there's this this um not intense that's not the word it's enticing it's like whatever you are doing maybe just you know because you've gone through something in your past you've kind of transformed something within your psyche within the way that you um are approaching things it's like there's been a shift um you know there's been some sort of shift or some sort of pivot something has changed altered within you it could be doing part two like i said you walking away and reclaiming your power owning it now uh, but with this three vibration you absolutely are seen as very beautiful uh very abundant or successful very prosperous very nurturing as well like someone is uh, admiring you perhaps from a distance uh someone's de desiring perhaps to to reconnect or to um, you know reestablish some sort of of um, you know um, some sort of uh, communication maybe there's been no communication or a lack uh, a lapse in the communication um, I'm also getting a strong sense because uh, we have right now um, who is this Akua Ulrich and it's called hard to get so yeah th this is someone who sees you as um, you're like a catch and you know the divine feminine knows her worth and this is a divine feminine reading so the yin energy knows her worth and value so she does not settle for anything less than what she knows she deserves so there is someone that feels like you are um maybe you're out of their league or maybe they're afraid to approach you there could be some form of intimidation um but this is someone i feel that wants to reunite reconnect um that wants to rebuild something with you i'm here i keep hearing rebuild so someone wants to rebuild something with you and i feel like this is going to be something um, unexpected when this person may uh, reach out to you uh, there may be some form of communication because I feel right now there's a sense of some someone kind of like strategically planning um, you know this this approach uh, strategically planning uh, some future event or communication uh, but they could be just trying to muster up the strength and the courage because I'm also getting like the three of of um, I was getting the three of cups initially and then now I'm getting like the three which is associated with the, the solar plexus. So they could really, really be, uh, you know, trying to muster up that strength, that courage um, just to approach you because with, you know, hard to get, you know, you they may see you as someone that's out of their league uh, because you are seen and um, you're deemed as someone very uh, abundant, very uh, prosperous powerful uh, and so this is a beautiful powerful energy right now we have who is this this is inner city and the name of the song is called um, good life oh yeah so this person sees that you are like living the good life like things are really really flowing for you um, I feel like you all could have your own businesses maybe you are very successful in your career um, you know, maybe you all are just like living a very luxurious lifestyle. Maybe you've recent, recently uh, purchased some very luxurious items like a new car. Maybe you just um, settled on a home or made a settlement, uh, some sort of settlement, uh, lawsuit um, settlement I'm hearing. And you could have come into some money. Um, maybe you all were approved for some sort of business loan. Uh, Maybe there's an, I'm hearing insurance payout of some sort, but I just feel like with the good life, I feel like your life is moving forward, going to be very, very exciting. Um, and I see a lot of trips. I'm hearing international. Some of you all are going to be uh, taking your first international trip uh, in the year 2023. Um, I feel some of you all could even meet someone overseas. Uh, that will, you know, this will encourage you to travel more abroad. I'm hearing the word abroad. Maybe you will meet someone online through some sort of dating site uh, that lives in another country. Um, and, you know, you're going to start developing a really strong uh, connection with this person. Um, so let's tap in. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on below. Spirit was coming in, going out, going on for our beautiful divine feminine yin energy we have a message of love and light so i feel good with that shuffle we're going to cut the deck so with inner city some of you all could live in like you know a city 
um, a really um, you know popular city I'm hearing like California Chicago New York um, you know I'm hearing like Florida you know somewhere that's really like you know it's really popping you know it's like um, even Boston I'm here in Boston so some of you all could be from those localities you know where there's it's like there's a, a nightlife you know like things don't stop it's like you know in New York it, it's a city that never sleeps um, and so, you know, you could go to the store at 3, 4 o'clock in the a.m. And, and you know what I'm saying? Um, here in the South, things shut down around 11 o'clock. <laughs> you, know you know, 11 o'clock, it's a wrap. You got to wait till the next day. <laughs> in New York, I could take a trip to the bodega at 3 o'clock. Go get me something if I want, you know, if I so choose. So, you know, maybe you live in a city like that where it's just, it never rests. It never sleeps. Maybe I'm hearing even New Orleans. You know, it's like a party city. It's somewhere that, you know, there's, it's like, it's a, it's a nightlife. There's a nightlife there. All right. So these two, I was trying to pull just one card and two. So you have two messages for um, the overall energy that's coming out. And so we have happy ending. See that? And then remember, we have the inner city playing good life right now. So you have a happy ending to, uh, you know, something that could have started off uh, very difficult because I was picking up like, you know, you went through some some, some really um, dark periods, but you persevered, you came through that. And so now there's a, a period of time where there's going to be some wish fulfillments and some blessings because you may that hope that optimism and you kept your eyes on a prize ultimately like you get you didn't allow yourself to just sit there and self-loathe and 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 um you know seeing what was me songs or play victim like you really took those opportunities to really master yourselves and that's why you came out of the gate with that three that three is the divine feminine this is a reading for the divine feminine make no mistakes look at this the reason why you're going to be happy is what did i just say you're, you're wrapping up a karmic cycle. It's the, it's the completion of a karmic cycle, a very dark period in your life. This this cloud that has been kind of like hovering over you, look at the sun. This is like this. the sun is um, bringing some light, bringing some joy. You know, you, you were going through a very dark period. Look how gray and gloomy this karmic uh, completion card is in comparison to this yellow, uh, beautiful, happy ending card. So it's like spirit sees that a lot of you all, you know, you the way that you heal um, is you have to start from the root cause. And this 10, uh, even though that represents an ending, but you began at the root because this 10 reduces to one, which is the one um, associated with the root chakra. And I just saw 2222. 22. And 2222 are very powerful numbers. It reduces to um, 8 yet again. Um, and that was the number that we saw on the uh, clock when we first started the reading. So that's why you're receiving some sort of blessing or wish fulfillment from spirit. Because you've completed this cycle. You've wrapped up a cycle. The root is where you have to start in order to... Um, you know, to heal at that soul level or in order to um, to truly learn uh, certain lessons, you know, karmic lessons um, or to even, you know, heal from certain traumas that you may have experienced, certain pains, uh, traumas. It could be rooted in your childhood. Uh, it could be rooted from, you know, a toxic love ship. But I feel like you've absolutely done the work. And yet again, we have this 93 here and that 93 breaks down to 12, which is that three again, which is the divine feminine. So I do feel like spirit is saying like you took your power back because this three is associated with the solar plexus a lot of you all started to trust yourselves trust your intuition trust your gut instinct trust in that gumption that that compass you know that inner compass was really um giving you uh the the um ability to see into situations that you may not have been able to see in the past because there could have been like you know some sort of illusions uh maybe there could have been some some sort of um some sort of um i'm hearing witchcraft was involved for some of you all uh maybe some of you all just had uh toxic individuals around you that were kind of like um you know parasites energetic parasites spiritual parasites leeches energy vampires um and when you disconnect because that eight as i said was giving me like the eight of cups walking away from relationships where there was a lack of reciprocity or equal give and take that is when you were able to start seeing things more clearly because you had created that that distance or that that boundary that was necessary to see things um, that were not so um, 
you know, that was not so becoming. And so with this nine and three uh, and that 10, this breaks down to four now. So four is associated with the heart chakra. So now this puts you in your heart space where now you're realizing like, I have to love me. You know, um, that was a part of walking away was the beginning of loving yourselves. Maybe you were always overcompensating. Maybe you were always, um, you know, um, you know, self-sabotaging because the eight could also be that eight of swords that I was picking up where you, you are deceiving yourselves in a situation because you want a particular outcome or you want something to, to work in a particular way. So you're just, you're staying longer than necessary. Spirit has given you all the signs, but you're not paying attention to the signs, the red flags, uh, things are right there in your face. So that moment of clarity, when it finally dawned on you, like I'm doing more than necessary like I'm not getting anything from this that's when you decided to part ways because when you have eight cups and you're just giving eight cups and you're not getting anything in return beloved that's like you're overcompensating and and at the same time you're you're playing yourself short so walking away that was the first step to loving yourselves to developing that sense of 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 um self-love that sense of self-discipline and so you you absolutely started to um love on you you started to realize like self-love was an inside job and i feel like this is what began that that healing process this was the beginning the beginnings of that healing process that you went through so this is powerful that the two of these cards um came out and i'm going to put it the way it makes sense karmic ending and then happy and um karmic completion and happy ending so i feel like you all are happier after a relationship was dissolved like you know after some sort of relationship met its demise you started to find your happiness again because i feel like again someone was a dark cloud in your life someone brought a lot of um misfortune um someone was just like you know sucking you of your life force i'm just seeing someone that's like an energy vampire just you know i want to suck your blood i i'm hearing that in my mind <laughs> you know like i'm literally seeing like you know that prototype vampire with the collar up and the freaking teeth and i want to suck your you know that's what i'm hearing in my mind's eye so funny but that's what i feel like you was dealing with somebody that was just just constantly leeching and when you think of a leech that's what the leech does it's it, it'll latch on and it sucks your blood you know even mosquitoes do the same thing so it's just like this person was just like a pest you know because mosquitoes are pesty they're just buzzing around and you know just itching you, you know you could get 20 freaking mosquito bites from one freaking mosquito and um it's just a, a pest this is someone that was just constantly like latching on to this is someone that was co-dependent that's why i was picking up like the word life force because you were their life force and that's the energy of a divine feminine or masculine even it's like you you are um you know the divinity of that divine feminine is to create to nurture to to um you know to be that that maternal energy very loving very in, uh emotionally intensive um attentive or very emotionally intelligent uh but that's why these this this energy was just like latching on because you you really don't want to let go of something that you know that is is providing um, whatever nourishment and so I feel like when you started to see that there was some sort of like imbalance within a connection you you bolted up out of there and you 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 um, focused more on establishing your own um, you know stability or establishing your new foundation and so what we have playing right now is Beyonce uh, I'm hearing lemonade so I, I immediately heard um, you turn lemons into lemonade. Um, you literally like transformed a situation that maybe uh, this person didn't think you would be able to survive or come out of because that's how deep in you know this spell or deep in this illusion um, and confusion uh, you were. You know, so you turned lemons into lemonade. This person could have really did you dirty um, because I feel like 
you had to start all over um, again. You know, when you have to walk away from someone uh, because you're giving so much, eight cups is a lot of investing. You invested emotionally um, into this person. If this is not a person per se, it could have been a, a, a position, a job, a role. Uh, it could have been connections, friendships, um, you know, love ships, even relationships within your own family dynamic. Whatever, uh, whatever, you know, karmic lessons you were learning, I feel like you were investing so much of yourself into it and was getting very little in return. So spirit seeing that, you know, you walking away uh, was, you know, the best meat. That was the best thing you could ever do because this is, as I said earlier, the way that you started to come into your own knowledge and you turned that situation around entirely uh, because now you are in this divine feminine energy, very regal, very royal, um, and you know your worth, you know your value. And so this is a very beautiful energy and spirit is very proud of you. I just feel a sense of spirit being very proud of you. So you should be proud of yourselves. The bottom of the deck, we have nine nine compassion and I'm about to pull the energy of whatever or whomever or uh, is in you know is in your energy whomever this person is so with nine nine I feel like spirit is just this is just like a friendly reminder to you know not judge um, and to just you know be very forgiving uh, because forgiveness is always for you so when you hold on to the animosity and the resentment it's literally like an energetic cord attaching you still you know still attaching you to that that karmic and so you, you want to clip the karmic cords. You want to cut those cords. And the way that you do that is through the beautiful um, act of forgiveness. Uh, people think when you forgive, that makes you weak, that makes you foolish. No, forgiveness is for you. Because when you don't forgive and you harness or harbor, I should say, you know, that 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 resentment and that anger, um, that frustration, that that is like, as I said, that's an energy block. And so you won't really be able to ascend when you have these blocks. This is something anchoring you um, and, and, and still keeping you, you know, emotionally attached. So spirit is reminding, you, you know, compassion, um, judge ye not. I'm hearing in my mind's eye as well. So judge don't even judge yourselves in this instance just forgive them all smile and forgive them all beloved Ashe. and this nine is the number because nine and nine reduces to nine um so this person is is i feel you know really desiring forgiveness um this is someone that you have learned a lot from because the hermit is a wizard and the answers that he seeks are found within, which is why he disconnects from all the noise, from all the clutter, the, I mean the chatter from the outside world and goes within. And this is where self-discovery is made. This is where the assessments are made. This is where you start taking onus, accountability. You start to acknowledge and recognize uh, past mistakes. And this is the responsibility. So this person, you know, this is your, your, your taking accountability and responsibility for perhaps uh, getting yourselves into these, um, you know, these love ships or relationships, uh, which ultimately taught you a lot, you know, um, without going through these karmic lessons, uh, you wouldn't know much, <laughs> you know, you'd probably be out here repeating things. So you've taken the time to heal. I feel someone is also um, in a very um, reflective space, maybe, uh, you know, kind of uh, meditating to get something straight, but we shall see. So let's see. Now, remember, you also had um, falling in love uh, with um, Faith Evans was playing. And then we also saw 1138 um, on the clock, which is 1111. And so I was picking up like a potential twin flame could be coming in. Um, there's, a there's a possibility that this could be a case of like runner chaser. Uh, so let's not count that out, but this could be the energy of you or the person, whatever I'm reading and picking out, uh, picking up from the cards. It could be a matter of your energy or someone else that you are uh, attracting to you. So, so we got this nine, nine compassion on the bottom of that. So spirit, um, who is this person? I beloved divine feminines is attracting to them. And I have a message of love and of light spirit. Who is our divine feminines attracting to them? And I have a message of love and of light. All right, now we have um, D'Angelo. And this is called One Mogin. So this, 
I can't make this up. And Spirit is saying, listen to this song. So someone you could be dealing with someone named D. I heard D. Maybe this person calls themselves D. I'm hearing D'Angelo, David. You know, maybe this is someone um, with one more again, as I said. Run or chase or someone coming back, someone returning. I was picking up the Three of Cups, like someone wanting to reunite, reconnect with this 32 song. Some of you all that feel like someone is hearing songs that remind them of you. It's giving them a sense of, of, of clarity, perhaps, because this yellow inside of this um, symbol is giving me a sense that someone is like uh, seeing something clearly, having some sort of epiphany. I'm also getting a sense that they desire to communicate, speak to you, because that 32 reduces to five. That's the throat chakra. Maybe this person finally wants to express something, communicate something. With one more again, I feel like this person wants another try, another chance, wants your forgiveness. Because remember that 9-9 nine, nine was on the bottom of the deck when I was about to pull this card. So compassion, you know, that's about forgiveness. And forgiveness isn't just accepting someone back into your life and getting back with them. Forgiveness could just be accepting an apology if that's what someone is desiring or wanting to do. I feel like you all um, have to trust your own intuition as well. With this four and this 32 five here, this, there's been a change I feel in this person. I also feel like this person has changed because they've been in hermit mode, doing a lot of self work. Just, just like, this is a lot of like um, internal work as well. Someone who's been like in isolation, they haven't been really partying, they haven't been really socializing as much. I feel like this person listens to a lot of music, you know? But I feel there's definitely a desire to communicate. And this is someone that you're not communicating with. And there is a sense of um, like you've given this person a lot of chances in the past. Because as I was picking up the eight of um, cups, it's like you put a lot into that. You invested a lot of emotionally and they left you emotionally bankrupt. And so that's why you decided to move on. That's a show and a sign of self-love, self-care. And so now this person is, you know, really desiring to communicate or express something to you. I feel this person has learned something as well because this 32 reduces to five, which is the Hierophant. And so the Hierophant is really a space of being in a studious energy. Perhaps this is someone sitting at the feet of an elder, maybe asking, uh, you know, for advice from, um, you know, maybe a, a maternal or paternal figure in their family, like an auntie, an uncle. You know, maybe uh, an older sibling, a mother, someone who has life experience, someone who's connected and grounded, someone that they know that they're going to um, get the truth and nothing but. Like, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're going to, you know, tell them like a T.I. is. But this person has been learning something, and this is perhaps the reason why they're now seeing something clearly, because that yellow also provides like clarity. The sun provides clarity, illumination. They're seeing something. I feel like there's some sort of aha, like, oh, snap. And what they're seeing is like, damn, perhaps you were the source of their happiness, their joy. Maybe if this is a matter of like twin flames. Um, you know, if this was someone that was running, if this was someone that was um kind of challenging in any way it's like now they're looking back in awareness you know they're reflecting upon something through seeking wise counsel they're having that epiphany and they're realizing they have to make a change they're also recognizing and realizing that you are wish fulfillment because this one three and this five reduces to nine so now they're seeing you as the nine of cups and this is the same person that you could have given chance after chance with the Eight of Cups. So you finally walked away and now you've established boundaries. And this person is now realizing in your absence, through your absence, that you are the one that got away, that there was a missed opportunity. And with one more again playing by D'Angelo, this is someone that does want another chance. And I'm hearing, Biggie, Biggie, give me one more chance. Biggie, Biggie, give me one more chance. <laughs> you know, it was remixed by uh, Faith Evans and uh, Mary J. Blige, you know, total. They were all in the video, but I'm hearing the original. Biggie, biggie, give me one more chance. So this person wants another chance. For some of you all, this could be the mothers of, uh, I mean, the fathers of your children or the father of your child with this parenting. This could also be you all um, 
dealing with your own um, mamas, papas, babas, umis. You could be dealing with some sort of um, parental issues from your past. I feel like you all have healed that too with this nine. And as I was saying, there was a sacred connection here, you know, with that spiritual partnership. And you do have a sacred connection. And there's nothing, I'm seeing nothing but nine. Because we got nine on the table. This is 63, that's nine. Then we got the 27, that's nine. So there's absolutely like something changing. Nine is the highest number and vibration of change. Even the three nines still reduced to nine because 27 is nine. So I feel like it's just hitting somebody like, damn, that's the one that got away. My divine feminine. I let them slip away because I was picking up like runner chaser. I'm also picking up like this person is thinking of you heavily with the nine of swords. Because I'm getting nine of swords energy like this person could be waking up in the middle of the night. This person could be having like lucid dreams. This person could really be, you know, thinking of you heavily. You know, in anguish, just like mental conflict. And so we have Mary J. Blige right now, slow down. And so with slow down, I feel like this person, you know, with all of that was taking place, maybe this person was kind of speeding all over the place, in and out, flighty. You know, maybe this was somebody who could have potentially, um, you know, been kind of like a... Uh, just a very social, I'm hearing social butterfly. So, you know, that's a, that's the, that's the polite way to put it. But maybe this person just really enjoyed, um, the attention of, of, of several people, you know, so maybe there was a sense of juggling. Maybe that's why they were running because they didn't want to commit at the time with slow down. I feel like they definitely slowed down because I was getting a sense of like someone not being as social kind of in isolation, learning, you know, and they're starting to see things very clearly through slowing down. You know, maybe they're starting to see uh, the personalities of the people that they were intertwining and entangling with. And so they kind of, you know, pump the brakes on that because now they're seeing you in a different light. Maybe, as I said, they're seeing you and recognizing you as a wish fulfillment. Someone's name could be Mary. Maybe someone's name uh, has a J in it. I'm hearing J, Jason, Jonathan, Jimmy, Jeremy. I heard Junie. Maybe someone was born in June. Maybe somebody was dealing with someone who's a Gemini. On the bottom of the deck, again, like I said, that we got that uh, uh, 63.9. Maybe some of you all, as I said, are also just very focused on your children or focused on, you know, the home front. You know, I'm, he I'm hearing like you're, you're, you're turning your house into a home, you know. You're turning that house into a home after some sort of ending. It's like you're just really putting a lot of time and energy and focus into your family, into your career, into your stability, your security, into your happiness now. That's what makes you happy. That's what makes you feel alive. You know, this is that new beginning that I was picking up on. So let's tap in. So how does this person that our divine feminize is attracting to them? How do they feel about our divine feminines? They have the message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. I can't make this dish up. Number two is on the bottom of the deck. Patience. Good things take time to create. Patience is also a form of action. So they know that you're highly intuitive because this two is associated with the high priestess. So this person, like I said, could be planning and preparing, strategizing some sort of uh, means and methods to approach you. But how they see you is the number three. This is the divine feminine, the empress. That's what I was picking up earlier in the read when we did the split. And so we have creativity here, beloveds. So this person definitely sees you as... Someone that is very beautiful, very attractive with slow down. I do feel like something within this person, they could have really took the time to slow down. to, And now they're seeing you because this yellow again is like, that's that epiphany, this grand epiphany that they're fi finally able to see you in your light. Maybe they were the one all, all along. They were the ones all along that were under some sort of illusion, you know. When you're juggling a lot, you can't see anything clearly. You can't even, in, you know, devote the best of yourself into something if you, you, you're you spread thin. So even if you are um, entertaining several people at one time, you, you, you're not going to be able to 
see the beauty the beauty in that one special person in that diamond in the rough if you're being distracted by like four other people you know you what you do is you take that person for granted and that's what I feel they did with you I feel like they took you for granted and so you got tired of it and you walked away you was really trying to work with them I feel like you was really putting in you know that that in um and you know that attention putting in the time you was like you know um blocking out time to 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 give them your undivided attention you was you was making you know all of the uh um you was you was giving um of yourselves in a way that uh i feel this person may have taken for granted until you just it just got old and you was just like nah you know but this three yeah definitely um mothers some of you all could be finding out that you are pregnant maybe some of you all are going to give birth in uh march maybe some of you all are are born on the 3rd or on the 12th of a month. Or on the 30th of a month. And with 9 and 3 again, that still breaks down to 12. Maybe someone will reach out to you during this month. Someone will finally take action. Maybe this person is planning to come towards you. Maybe something, uh, someone will communicate with you within the next uh, three days, three weeks, three months. I'm definitely feeling also like maybe you met someone at your place of employment. You could be really... Um, Maybe this once this is someone that wants to rebuild some sort of alliance or a partnership, like reconnect with you. And we have right now, um, ready for the world, love you down, plain. And so the word that's sticking out to me, obviously, is world. So there is distance, I feel, that was created. But this person also realizes because the world card in traditional tarot is the number 21. And that 21 reduces to 3. So this person sees that you have evolved. You've reached that level of self-mastery, as I said. You have a knowledge of self now. And when you know that self, you love that self. When you love that self, I mean, when you um, heal that self, you love that self. And when you love that self, you know that self. And that's what I feel like you you really, um, you came into that that knowledge, like I said, through these experiences with karmic completion opening up the reading, it just shows that that's the 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 the, the grand uh, steps. You know, the enormous change, the startling metamorphosis that you all have experienced, and that's how this person sees you, and now they want to love you down. Now they're prepared to love you. This could also be, like I said, someone that you may meet, you know, from another country. This could be someone that you could start building or developing a connection uh, through some dating site. You may travel across the world to uh, introduce, you know, to be introduced to this person or to meet this person, I should say. But I, or they could be coming to the to the states to meet you. But whatever it is, I feel like this this is something that. Um, it's bringing happiness. It's bringing a lot of joy. You know, this is like someone that wants to build, someone that wants to invest, someone that definitely is, you know, very much a committed person. Because I just keep hearing the word alliance, partnerships, someone willing to put in the work, someone willing to put in the time, the, 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 you know, um, someone that's really, I'm hearing, attentive. They're going to give you their undivided attention they're going to be affectionate towards you different from what you may have had in the past and with this patience i feel like spirit is saying that you may intuitively know this you may have been calling this in because the high priestess is like a clairvoyant like she 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 calls what she desires to her she's like a, a magical being that sets intention she's also very intuitive very psychic so maybe you're picking up the fact that this person is calling you in energetically. Or maybe you're calling this in because you're ready for it now. With ready for the world, maybe you're ready because you've completed that cycle. 
So now that you've completed this cycle, there's no nothing anchoring you or blocking you. That's why I said forgiveness is very important. It has nothing to do with being weak or appearing weak or appearing to be um, someone very passive or foolish even. It's about freeing yourselves, cutting those karmic cords. Because when you hold on to that that angst and that that frustration, it just it only boggles you down energetically. It anchors you energetically. So with this patience, there's been, you know, a lot happening behind the scenes. I feel like you found balance within yourselves. I feel like you've learned to uh, tap into both your feminine energy as well as your masculine. And I feel like tapping into your masculine was also something that was kind of forced upon you. Because as I said, I don't feel like there was a much reciprocity perhaps in a former relationship. Someone could have taken you for granted. Someone could have not uh, carried their load. They could have, you know, left everything up to you. So you had to carry the burdens of everything, the responsibilities on your shoulders solely. And so it forced you into that masculine energy. But this is also what forced you into uh, this energy of, of elevating, of growth, of transformation. This is beautiful. So let's see what's hidden. So what's hidden for our divine feminines? May I have the message of love and light? What's hidden in the energy? So that card flew back out. And we have rebirth here, just as I spoke of rebirth transformation. So that's double confirmation. But we look what came out. Nine, nine, compassion. So spirit is just, you know, that's like a message. That's also confirmation of what I just said. You know, you have to forgive. You know, forgive those who know not what they do. There was a time when you didn't know what you know. And you didn't want nobody judging you. So that's why I was picking up judge ye not earlier. So with this 9-9, nine, nine, again, like I said, this is just that person here who is really, um, you know, really desiring your forgiveness. This is someone that wants to return. This is someone that may profess, like I said, or confess uh, that they love you with ready for the world. This person may feel like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to make this offer. I'm ready to take action. Because they do see you as the wish fulfillment. They see you as this divine feminine. We got nine, nine, and three here. And so nine, nine, and three still reduces to three. Because that's 21. So this is someone at a distance. This could be someone that is at a distance. I feel this, th there is a disconnect, you know, not just communicatively, but I feel even emotionally, you know, when you don't speak to someone, when you don't have a certain person in your energy or vibration, like you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's out of sight, out of mind kind of energy. And that's why I feel like there is distance and I feel like they want to close the gap. You know, they want, they want your forgiveness. This is something they desire. We're about to clar uh, pull a card for the outcome, and we have this 16 rebirth, and this is the number 7. So someone has also experienced some sort of transformation, but I also feel this transformation is what's propelling you forward, what's moving you forward. That 7 is associated not only with the crown chakra, with you uh, tapping into your divine feminine energy, your higher self. You know, that Christ consciousness, that God frequency, receiving those divine interventions, downloads, and transmissions from your spirits, angels, guides. Maybe you started to connect to your angels, guides, and spirit team by setting up altars, devoting time, connecting, going out in nature walks, connecting to Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, you know, going to the oceans, the rivers, the lakes, and really centering yourselves and grounding your energy, you know, really doing some purification um, and energy exercises and you've cleaned, cleared and cleansed yourselves from anything that could have potentially been holding you back and so now there's this, this sense of like a renewal you know this is a beautiful energy of you emerging someone new and now that you've emerged someone new you have that confidence you're more assertive, you're more matter of fact when you are speaking or when you are approaching things. There's no fear. There's, you're fearless now. I feel someone is also coming towards you assertively, confidently, matter of factly. And we have um, next, and this is called too close. So I feel like this person, I feel like the next step is this person is desiring to get closer so they will take action. You know, this is someone, and I don't feel like there's any type of um, 
and I don't feel like there's any any communication like I said so someone is really like perhaps up in their head planning you know because the seven is associated with the crown chakra so maybe they're you know listening to their intuition or um, they're going to use discernment with how to get closer with the next steps to get closer because this is next playing too close so how to get closer to you and I see 78 here uh, spiritual career on the bottom of the deck many of you are absolutely psychics intuitives your he's healers shamans light workers some of you are master teachers you have gifts skills and talents that you are now starting to discover some of you all are questioning your abilities you're not you're not um you're not really confident in your skills and spirit is saying master your crafts sharpen your sword like you have to hone those skills and those gifts and those talents so practice is what makes perfect if you know that you are highly intuitive or highly psychic then you you have to do exercises to uh, to sharpen that skill to amplify it you know there's certain binaural sounds there's certain foods that you can eat to connect you can even do sun gazing you can do a lot of different things even changing uh, your eating regimen it could also aid in you um, really developing those 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 skills, those gifts, those talents. But practice makes perfect is what I'm hearing. For some of you all, you may meet your divine masculine in a, I'm hearing in a an esoteric shop or in some sort of um, lecture class. Maybe you'll be attending some sort of class and you may bump into someone. This could even be an online class. It doesn't have to be a classroom setting like where you're sitting in a room with another person. This could be even like an online class and you may connect with a bunch of the people in that class. Whatever the case may be, I feel like there's a very um, powerful connection that you will uh, develop. Maybe you will or have already met someone that you have some very strong um, chemistry with there's there's a sense of familiarity like you met this person before or there's certain things uh, belief systems that the two of you may share um, maybe interests even music um, but there's something that connects you to someone you just feel the synergy with this person but we shall see uh, Shay and we have right now Anita Baker and this is called Angel so you absolutely have angels that are watching over you, blessing you. I was picking up on the fact that you all have really come through some tough times and there was wish fulfillments and blessings, even miracles that could be taking place. And it's because spirit is rewarding you, recognizing your hard work. It hasn't been easy, but it's getting easier now. Some of you all are also uh, seen as earth angels. So you could have come into people's lives to help activate and trigger their uh, you know, dark night of the soul journey. You know, you may have wakened someone or some individuals in your lives with the 16. You know, with this rebirth, you've you've helped someone have their own startling metamorphosis. So why is um what is the outcome for our divine feminines? May I have a message of love and light for my divine feminines. Thank you, spirit. And look what flew right back out. I can't make this ish up. The outcome is rebirth. This is what flew out. So you all absolutely, there will be something transforming uh, because someone is entering into your life. Someone is rushing in, matter of fact. When you think of the chariot, there are two horses. One is white, one is black. That's like yin yang. So I feel like spirit is saying this is the yin to your yang. This is a twin flame. And so this is nine, three, nine, and seven. So this is, um, this is ten. So this is one. This is that masculine that's coming in very passionately, very hot and heavy. Because remember, we had that 55-1, and I was picking up on a very masculine energy, very uh, passionate coming in. Um, you know, this is something I feel like that's that's destined because this is spirit giving you that new start, that new, um, you know, that new chance. It's a new beginning. 
And with this 81 on the bottom of the deck, it's because now you are in control of your life. You have created, you know, the space for new to come in because you have severed the ties to the karmic cords. You've broken the yokes, hexes, spells, any type of generational curses. You've worked on the self. That's why com completion is here. And that's on the in the beginning of your spread. And that's why rebirth is at the end. And this is 10, which is 1, and then 16, which is the 7. So 1 and 7 is 8. That's why you're being blessed with a reward, with a um, wish fulfillment. You're being blessed with this new beginning. And it's a very powerful, passionate, and successful new beginning that's going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. This is someone who is... They see you as an earth angel, and I feel like you're angels because we have Anita Baker singing, You're My Angel. This is a song that my Baba Yaya, I love you, Daddy. Um, this reminds me of my dad, so I feel like he's my angel, obviously, and he is uh, definitely uh, working behind the scenes to bless me with opportunities. So some of you all may have, uh, you know, fathers, you know, grandmothers, um, uncles, you know, uh, even mothers, siblings. I'm hearing best friends uh, that could be really, really um, sending in these blessings for you. They're opening, you know, the, the doors to opportunity for you because you've done the hard work already. It's like you did the work and so now the rewards are to come because the seeds that you've sown, all of your hard work, you know, you, you really are the, the um, you were the conduit of this change that's taking place. And you've gone through, you know, painful endings and losses, but you've learned so much in the process. And so there's something that can be, um, I feel like there's something that could be mended with this rebirth. Even though it's a new beginning, it could be a new beginning with someone new. It could be a new beginning in a new field. You know, that you may have, like I said in the beginning, like, you know, you could have tried some things and it didn't work out, but you still learn from the mistakes you made and then you could start again. And this time it will turn out the way it's intended. It will turn out the right way. And this will, you know, like I said, be the precipice of some sort of new start. But you are very willful and determined now. You're 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 standing in your power Standing perpendicular in your square, you're not backing down. This is yet another nine. So these are the changes you've made. You you are owning your power now. You are absolutely owning it. And we have uh, Mary J. Blige again. Changes I've been going through. So you've definitely gone through some major changes because that's what this thirteen. I mean this um excuse me this seven rebirth is all about. You know rebirth is really like that uh, transformative energy. So going through major shifts, major changes in your life, changing your own belief systems and ideologies, having a death of the old you, you know, and, and, and being reborn or emerging someone completely new, someone completely different in a better, in, 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 a, in a good way. It's like you have reached that level of self-mastery, as I've said. So let's tap in. Let's, let's clarify these messages. So we're going to pull from, I'm going to pull from the goddesses and sirens. So let's see what we have. All right. So what do we have here on the bottom of the deck? Okay. So this says Isis, and this is a protection card. So you are absolutely protected, beloveds. You are protected because whatever this karmic cycle was, you know, it's, it, you know, whatever doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And I feel like you are absolutely owning your power. It's this beautiful energy of you really capturing that sense of, you know, of, um, and harnessing, I should say, that energy of that divine feminine protecting your energy, protecting yourselves, creating boundaries, standing your ground, speaking your truths. 
and I feel like you are protected from any karmics that may be trying to challenge you in any ways. I feel like those changes that you were going through that Mary J. Blige is singing of, I feel like this is also um, the reason why you all were, um, why you all are uh, protected. Because there was a lot of things that were going on perhaps behind the scenes. Maybe there were, you know, certain um, spirit spiritual attacks. You know, you were going through some sort of... Um, I'm hearing spiritual attacks and I'm also hearing um, spiritual warfare. These were very dark periods. This was a dark period in your life. And it's not even just, you know, what you were going through recently. Maybe some of you all uh, were, you know, healing your, your family lineage, you know, the bloodline. Maybe there's been a, uh, some sort of generational curse on your family for years. And you were the one. You were the one. You were the sole, you know, um, you were the, 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 that energy, that, that source of power, of energy to, to break, you know, to break that yoke. And you can see she's holding this ankh. And the ankh is a symbol of life. It's a symbol of life. And it represents both the male and female principle. This rounded side is the female, the feminine. And this felicious portion of it represents the masculine. So this is duality. This is a balance. This was how you had to, you had to protect yourself. There, there was, you had to tap into that energy. You had to draw into both energies. In order to come out of this this karmic cycle, you've learned how to even you know co-create, how to harness that power. This is powerful. And so now we have um, Anita Baker, and this is called "You Bring Me Joy." So let's tap in. So we have Isis protection on the bottom of the deck, and now we have uh, Joan of Joan of uh, the Ark faith. So remember, we had faith playing earlier. Faith Evans, and there's a train going by. This is a message. Yeah, so you held on to faith and you protected yourself. And I also feel your faith, you know, like I said, you walking in faith and trusting, you know, your angels and gods had you was what, you know, what ultimately helped you to, to see, you know, to see clearly. You have to step out of, you know, the, the, the uh, circumstance and look inward uh, in order to be able to identify what isn't good for you. And I feel like you did just that. You created boundaries. You started to protect yourselves. You started to put up a guard. You know, you wasn't just allowing what you may have previously in the past. So let's tap in, beloveds. So let's see. We're going to clarify these messages with the goddesses and sirens deck. And then we're going to use some actual tarot cards. And then we're going to ride up. So God's spirit of love and light. Why is this karmic completion here for my divine feminine to have a message of love and of light? Why is karmic completion here? Thank you, spirit. I heard that's good. And so we have Alicia Keys. Um, and this is called, If You Ask Me, I'm Ready. So that's, I feel like, what your energy was. Like you was waiting for someone to ask you, perhaps to marry you or... Um, you know, this, this was like you was waiting because I was getting like that eight of cups energy and I feel like you just stopped waiting. Like you just got to the point where you kind of looked at yourself, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm giving and I'm, I'm not receiving anything, you know, so you, you, you was probably waiting for someone to ask you to propose to you to take the relationship to the next level and it just never happened. Maybe you was waiting for someone to just say hey you know let's i just want to i want to um i want us to date um seriously like i just want it to be just you and i and what's the way how do they say that i want to date uh i don't i can't even think of it right now but it was like you maybe you were waiting for someone to take the relationship uh to the next level you know 
instead of being friends, instead of being, uh, what do you call it, like, um, friends with benefits. It's like you are perhaps waiting for someone to, to, you know, ask you to be theirs, you know, to just make it more exclusive, just date them exclusively. And it didn't happen. So there's 10 karmic completion we have on the bottom of the deck. We have Mama Oya. Woo! What? <laughs> this is my spiritual mother. I love it. And it says power. Look at that. You took your power back. You had to take your power back, beloveds. Because you was waiting on something. This is that energy of just waiting and waiting. And, and it just never happened. And Mama Oya... You know, that this is like, remember I was using the terminology of this gloomy card being, you know, it's just like, it's very gloomy, you know, very cloudy, just, just like a dark cloud over your head. And so you had to be the one to take your power back in this instance, because this person, whatever you was waiting for, um, this was someone that was like draining your energy. Like this was like an energy vampire. And so with this 10, when you walked away, when this cycle wrapped up, you was able to take your power back, to harness your power, to to uh, come back into your power. Mama Oya is a very powerful divine feminine. And she is who, um, with um, the X-Men, she is the, um, she is in the X-Men, um, oh my God, Storm. Thank you, Spirit. Because Mama Oya controls like the weather. She she has the power to control the weather. So this person that was bringing you storm and cloudy days, it was like, nah, you took your power back. And you turned that cloudy day into a sunny day. It's powerful. And right now we have Usher and P. Diddy, and this is called You Don't Have to Call. <laughs> So what did I just say? And on the bottom of the deck, we have Hathor, contentment. <laughs> so you was like, I'm not, I'm not sitting around waiting by the phone no more. You know, this is when you took your power back. This is when you said, I'm done. I'm not going to sit around and, 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 and overcompensate any longer. You started to realize like you, you're the mother, you're the Umi, you're the divine feminine. You know, you give birth to new ideas, to new projects, to babies. So what do you look like sitting there? And, and, and allowing another person to damn near validate you. So that's why this contentment is here. Because you learned to, to, you learned to love yourselves. And this is why this happy ending is here. Because you now are the one that's... You're the one that's seeing the goodness in each day. Whether this person is around you or not. Whether this person is in your life or not. This is this is really about self-love. You got to love you. You know, happiness is within you. Another person cannot be the source of your happiness. And with that three here, we're about to clarify the three. 93, which reduces to 12. And this says Hathor. And this contentment. So you found contentment whether someone was there or not. Because we got Usher saying you don't have to call. So whether this person called you or not, you learn to live with that. You learn to accept that. You're no longer codependent on this person emotionally. And that's why you have this happy ending because whatever that person that was kind of like leeching from you and that was really like, um, you know, kind of using you as their life force or source of, of, of energy when you disconnected and started to focus more on you, that's when you began to become more content in your life. You began, began to become emotionally content. And you're like, I'm going to be all right. You, you don't have to call. You know, you started to, to accept the fact that it just wasn't what it was going to be, you know, what it was, what you was um, expecting, perhaps. You had expectations. So why is this happy ending here? For the overall energy for our divine feminines may have a message of love and of light spirit thank you spirit so they gave me a couple of cards how many cards did they give me okay they gave me two and so on the bottom of the deck we have valkyries and this is called redemption yeah you redeemed yourself because i was picking up like y'all was like overcompensating 
But I feel like this is the redemption story for you because now you have the happiness. Because now you are, you are, oh, let me turn this down. I don't want to get no stripes. So now you are the one that's determining, you know, your own moods. You're not allowing somebody else to have the power to, to, to affect you. Um, you could be on a high and then they come in and, and now they're stealing your joy. No more. No, you're not doing that. With this redemption, I feel you also like you defied some sort of odds. You know, it's like there's, there's this sense of like resilience. There's this sense of persevering through something. And you can see she's standing here victoriously over this masculine that could have been causing a lot of pain and anguish. You know, she's defeated this person. Wow, we got creation underneath that. Mother Gaia, I was picking up on you all, you know, really grounding yourselves and healing yourselves. Maybe even tapping into your creativity. Honing skills, gifts, and talents. That's beautiful. On the bottom of the deck, we have Cali, fear. So what was I saying about fearless? Don't allow your fears to hinder you or block you. If you have a certain expectation of how something is supposed to turn out and it doesn't, and then you're, you're you know, when you're, you're uh, expecting a certain outcome, it's like, no, you know? So your, your fears are false expectations appearing real. And I feel like what you started to do was confront them. And when you confronted them, you started to have these these grand epiphanies. Started to bring things into fruition. And we have white buffalo woman. You found your peace. Because you have to confront it. The more you run from things, especially fears, when you run, it's like almost trying to run from a shadow. It, it, it's like, it's going to follow you wherever you go. And so when you turned around and confronted it, it brought so much clarity, so much illumination, and it brought you back into your power because you was afraid of something. You was, maybe some of you all were, you know, emotionally codependent on a particular person, or maybe you all had to heal from some sort of uh, abandonment issues from childhood or some sort of trauma you've experienced. And so maybe these are uh, things... Um, Emotions that were developed during your formative years where you just latch on and attach to people no matter whether they're good or bad because you fear being alone and you've had to break that cycle. You know, and now you've learned to grow comfortable in your own skin because you are no longer depending on anyone for your happiness. You're no longer depending on someone for your stability. You're now able to maintain on your own. Stand on your own too, perpendicular in that square. And this is beautiful. And now you have so much peace because you're not just overcompensating and, 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 and accepting of even those that don't deserve you just so you can have somebody there, just so you can have somebody in your life. So many people who settle and they're miserable. They settle because maybe they're afraid to, to be independent. Maybe they're afraid. Maybe they don't feel like they have the ability you know, especially in this climate financially with recessions, some people just settling because they need somebody to pay the bills with them. They in a, a miserable relationship and they just looking for somebody to go half on the on the rent. They ain't they're not really invested in that relationship. And I feel like for some of you all, maybe that was your story. Maybe if that wasn't the truth for you, it was the truth for someone else. But I feel here with this white buffalo woman, like you have so much peace now. That's why you're happier. This is beautiful. The overall energy, beloveds. And this Valkyrie's redemption. I feel like someone wants to redeem themselves. They want to come back and redeem themselves because they too have had some sort of awakening. Some sort of truth. Some sort of startling metamorphosis. They too may have had an elder or someone that they love dearly tell them like a T.I. is. Like, yo, you're wrong. What you did was wrong. Or maybe you need to stop running and confront your fears. Maybe someone that's coming towards you or someone that is in your energy is afraid to come towards you. Because I was picking up this person like looking at you as someone that could potentially be out of their league is because they see you as this divine feminine. Which you are. And which they should be. 
you know, because you've been through a lot. So you don't have time for games. The only reason they should be worried is if they're coming back, you know, or if they're trying to play games or if they're trying to dupe you. And what we have playing right now is, um, who is this? Oh, this is Branford um, Marcellus, and this is called Swinging, Swinging at the Heaven. Oh, Swinging at the Haven. Pardon me. Yeah, so when I'm getting, you know, as I said, like with swinging, um, I'm hearing swing your way, swing my way. You know, a swing goes back and forth. So I was getting a sense of like, you know, maybe this person is a little hesitant. Maybe they're a little conflicted, mentally conflicted, you know, because I'm getting like, you know, a swing goes forward, backward. So it's like they, they some moments they may want to come toward you and other moments they, they kind of just, you know, go back to that old mindset or maybe this is someone that could also be seeing how they have self-sabotaged in the past you know because as i said with this yellow in the center here it's like they're seeing something there's an epiphany there's some sort of illumination and they want to redeem themselves is what i'm getting with this redemption card you know because they're looking at you as someone who's like you have uh, it's like you've taught them something I'm hearing humbled them as well. So you could have been someone who have, um, who has uh, kind of like triggered this person in some way. You are a trigger. And the name of the album is called Royal Garden Blues. So that's powerful, Royal Garden Blues. So this person sees you as very regal and very royal. You know, and we see that with the uh, three here, which is the Empress. She's royalty and blues. They, they, they are singing the blues. They're, they're very sad. You know, that five, I'm getting like the five of cups, heavy regret, remorse. They have their head in their hands and they are singing those shoulda, coulda, woulda blues. Like, God diggity dog. <laughs> like, they are really feeling it. This is heavy, heavy remorse. over something from the past so let's tap in so why is this 32 music here for the person that's coming towards our divine feminine we have a message of love and life why is this 32 music here thank you spirit powerful see that protection so this person with this isis protection I feel spirit is absolutely sane, especially because she's like brandishing this, this ankh, which represents, as I said, the trinity. I only spoke of the man and the woman, but this, the, um, the um, symbol also uh, represents child. This is the trinity, man, woman, and child. The ankh represents life. So the circle, the rounded part is feminine energy. The um, center here is representative of the fallopian tubes which are the children and then this phallus fallacious portion here represents masculine so with protection i feel this person does feel this is a spiritual connection a spiritual partnership i do feel this person also is really feeling like left out in the cold they want to save this connection they could be up in their head a lot about this they want to protect this because i was feeling like they want to redeem themselves they also feel you're very guarded what's playing right now is still swinging at the haven so maybe they feel you've been protecting yourself because they were so conflicted in the past maybe this is the person that could have abandoned you as I said emotionally maybe even figuratively just left you because they was maybe they were swingers whatever the case may be with this protection I do feel like there is something very sacred you know there's a there's something sacred here and I feel this person is coming into awareness like they are awakening to this on the bottom of the deck we have Quan Yin compassion yet again 
how they feel about you is that you are very nurturing, very forgiving, very loving, very empathic, compassionate. They also feel judged. <laughs> you know, they don't want to be judged. Maybe they fear being judged. If you don't judge them, maybe they fear being judged. They desire your compassion and your forgiveness. This is someone that really wants to reconnect or come towards you. But I feel there are fears that paralyze them. I'm hearing the word paralyze. And we have Faith Evans yet again singing, Heaven Only Knows. So this person prays, you know, they pray and they, they call on their angels and ask for the strength. They're also praying for your forgiveness, perhaps. I don't feel like this person was very faithful or loyal in the past. Maybe they they could have played you, like I said. They could have had many suitors or love interests. You know, they were, could potentially like giving their attention to many. And that could have put them in a position where they took you for granted. Kind of exploited you, your kindness took it for granted perhaps took it for weakness but with Quan Yin I feel again this is spirit reminding you because this is compassion the same card that's here spirit is reminding you to remain in that high vibration of not judging anyone someone definitely seeks your forgiveness here especially with this three because they see you as that uh that empress and they're holding on to hope I do feel like they're praying so why is this three creativity here for how this person our divine feminines feels about them why is this three creativity here for how our person feels about our divine feminine they have a message of love and a message of life spirit thank you spirit wow Okay, so we got two cards that flew up. Actually, there are three. So the first card we have Pele, and this is Purpose. So they know that this connection, as I said, is sacred. There's a purpose. They feel you also have a purpose. With this card, they feel like you came into their life for a reason. They feel there's a connection here, that there's something uh, beyond their, even beyond their own knowing. But they feel this is a very destined, it's a destined connection with purpose here. They feel whatever happened between y'all, it happened, as I said, for a reason. Like this has brought perhaps them into some sort of awareness. With heaven only knows, I do feel like they feel like you're an earth angel. You came into their life perhaps at a time. When they could have been out here living the fast life, because I was picking up fast life or someone who was just a social butterfly just out here up in everybody's face. And maybe you slowed them down. You gave them a reason to to kind of uh, reflect, to go inward, to connect to their heart chakra, to their heart space. I feel like you were some sort of... Um, you, you, you taught them something. As I said, there was you were like the, the trigger. You triggered something within this person. And I see this beautiful red flower, this rose. I feel like this person absolutely adores you, loves you, is attracted to you. The other two cards that flew out, we have Rhiannon, self-trust. This is what they see you as. They see you as someone that's very magical. Someone that you trust yourselves. You're, you know where you're headed. You know where you're going. You may have discovered what your uh, your life path is, what your soul purpose is, your soul's mission. You've been on this voyage, this journey to discover and to come into that knowledge of self. And they see that. And this is something that can be very intimidating if you haven't even started at point A. <laughs> like if you ain't even started point A and then you see somebody all up in this divine feminine energy, it could be very intimidating. 
but they see that you are like a magical and mystical being because you set your intentions and you manifest and you stay in this high vibration and it's a very attractive energy which is what i was picking up like you're alluring and you you're enticing and there's just this this uh synergy and chemistry that this individual feels next card we have is athena strategy what i can't make this up they're strategizing a means and a method to come towards you they are trying to muster up the strength the courage to come towards you because this is an energy of someone that knows who they are you are someone that comes off as you know who you are you have a purpose you're also someone very magical very mystical you tap into that that divine feminine energy even tapping into you know your ability to co-create with source with this Athena strategy, they see that you are also very wise, very meticulous about the actions you take or the moves you make, the people you have around you, especially with that owl there. Owls are very indicative of wisdom, wise dome, self-mastery, just like that divine feminine. On the bottom of the deck, we have Sheila Nagig, Gateways. So this person is trying to open up some sort of gateway, some sort of path to reconnect with you. This person is desiring your forgiveness so that there can be some sort of new beginning. A new chapter, perhaps. They're seeking your forgiveness. They're desiring your forgiveness. And what we have playing right now is Mary J. Blige everything. So I feel like this person will come to you. I feel like they're seeing everything. I'm feeling like almost like they're, they're, something is flashing before their eyes and they're starting to see like all of the mistakes that they've made. I also get a sense of like with that nine what's hidden in the energy, uh, spirit is blessing you with wish fulfillment because of your compassion, because of your kind heart, your, your, your very um, empathic nature. And that's the reason why these gateways, these portals, this, 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 whatever, fortune, something's t coming in and, and it's, it's destined for you. It's, it's, it's some sort of blessing, reward. It's opening up new pathways, new portals. It's like open road. Powerful. So why is gateways here for what's hidden in the energy for my divine feminine? We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Why is hate compassion here? We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. So we have on the bottom of the deck, we have Freya. And this is irresistibility. What did I just say? Somebody can't, they can't stop thinking about you. This is someone that's all up in their head. Desiring forgiveness. Bottom of the deck, we have Baba Yaga. Authenticity. So this is what you are desiring. You want someone authentic, someone genuine. You want the real deal. And I feel like this person now knows. This is what they know. They can't come in wearing a mask, putting on a facade, parading around something that they're not. They know that you're going to be able to see through that. And that's why there's this sense of, okay, I got to come in and be my authentic self. I feel you've also come into that power of being able to see through the illusions. You're no longer going to put up with anyone coming in with the energy of um, just coming to take. There's no take, take, take no more with you. You know, you've given all you want to give, all you could give, and now it's all about reciprocity. It's all about the, the act of reciprocity now. The gesture of reciprocity. So this energy I'm feeling like now uh, there's someone coming into their own. It's like they're growing. They're maturing. They also see that you are, you know, very authentic and real. You're genuine. Baba Yaga. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be able to see through someone's, um, through the shadow, you know. I feel someone was definitely dealing with their shadow side. They weren't being their authentic selves. They were wearing a mask or trying to, um, you know, just kind of put on facades, as I said. 
but now there's this desire, you know, that could be asking for your forgiveness and they're being genuine. I feel like Spirit is saying this is an authentic or genuine um, apology that could be coming in. And we have Freya, like I said, irresistibility. So someone has identified you as someone that they are um, attracted to. They're attracted to this version of you that is just fearless, you know, very powerful. You, you don't take no mess. You don't, you, you don't bite your tongue. You're very brave. And you've braved through some of the most tumultuous circumstances and it's it's brought you into um the space this space where you have emerged someone completely different it's like they see you as uh someone very uh, transformed someone who's now owning their power very sexy it's like this this new you is very sexy they're they're you're irresistible they're very attracted to you very drawn to you and we have, um, who is this? So we have Fela Kuti, and this is called No Enemy. So this is the energy right here. So you, 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 you've rid yourself of your enemies with this rebirth. I feel like that's just very indicative of you cutting yourselves free, you know, because when, when you go through a transformation, um, it's, it's a painful um experience but it's like in the process you learn uh you learn what uh what is what you know you 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 see things as they are people as they are um and you make the decision to cut those individuals out of your lives or to cut those circumstances out of your lives to change certain belief systems ideologies behaviors habits circumstances so that you can you know now be free so that you could have this freedom so there's no this this free dome you know so there's no confusion now you know there, there's no enemies because you've established boundaries there's none of that going on you know so let's tap in so why is the 16 rebirth here for the outcome for who are divine feminines dealing with and we have vesta home yeah, so no enemy. You're, you don't allow people into your home. I feel like you're very protective of who you allow into your space because your home is like your sanctuary. It's your safe haven. So you are very particular, very mindful. I feel like there's also been a lot of changes in your homes. Maybe this was someone that you could have resided with. And we have Yemaya Hope. Mama Yemenya is... She is the divine Umi Mama. She protects the family. And that's what you have evolved into is the protector of your family. And it's because of that hope and that optimism, as I said earlier. This transformation has led to you owning your power and not backing down. And it's because you've walked in faith, held on to hope and optimism that's what led to this major transformation and to you also being more assertive and more confident in your abilities we also have Hera commitment you were committed to this outcome I feel you also have someone coming in willing to commit to you and I feel like this is somebody that is keeping the secret for the moment but they will uh, you know, take action once they build that confidence, which they come into, you know, equilibrium, perhaps emotionally. I feel they send you messages, perhaps telepathically or intuitively. We have R. Kelly, and this is called Down Low. So I feel like this is someone that keeps this on the low. They keep it very quiet, very hush about how they feel, because I feel you are definitely um, heading in the direction of coming into some sort of committed relationship. I was picking up on someone that was um, wanting to invest, wanting uh, to build an alliance or a partnership. And this is someone coming in for a new start because remember we had uh, the three and the one, which reduces to, um, I'm part of me, part of me. We have one, okay, that's nine, three, seven yeah one so this is a new beginning you're you're like you're coming into a some sort of new commitment 
a new partnership and it's because you you definitely um, owned your power this is you sending up those prayers and petitions this is also you healing doing your own healing work you had to heal yourselves and you knew your worth and value we have Lak Lakshmi prosperity you're coming into a very abundant time prosperous time and I was picking up on that energy of like wish fulfillment and blessings. Lakshmi, Mama Lakshmi is saying that there's abundance. There's new opportunities, infinite supply, better days ahead for you. There's no need to worry because you've already done the work. This is that new beginning, that new start, that new junction. This is beautiful. And we have Poma. And it says plenty. You will have plenty. You will have prosperity. And you will have power. You have it already. You have plenty, power, and protection. This is beautiful. And prosperity. You all are definitely coming into a very beautiful time. And with down low, I feel like some of you all don't even know this is coming. Like you don't even have a clue that you're about to be blissed. Like I'm seeing fortune, fame, stardom. I'm seeing expansion, growth, elevation. I'm seeing happiness and love. There's so much beauty coming in for you guys and this is something that you all deserve something that you've earned this is a beautiful energy some of you all could be dealing with someone named Kelly first middle or last maybe this is um, with Rob with uh, R Kelly maybe someone's name is Robert I'm here with Ryan look what's on the bottom of the traditional tarot we have the Empress, and remember, I was saying that three is the Empress, and when we opened up the reading, we had the 10, and that 93 come out, or the, we had the 93 happy ending come out, whatever card it was, it was three, and it was even three on the, um, on the, um, I can't remember, <laughs> but you know what I mean, but this Empress confirmation this is how you're coming out of the gate like it's there's no there's no denying what energy you all are channeling right now like you you've absolutely are in your power and we have that three of cups that i was talking about someone wants to reunite this is someone that wants to you know repair the connection reconnect I feel that also could be speaking to you celebrating all these wins right here all these blessings you're about to come into plenty if you feel like you don't have enough, spirit is like, not only are you going to have prosperity, but you're going to have plenty of it. This is, like I said, infinite supply. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading, my divine feminines. You're going to be so elated, overjoyed. I love it. And we have the moon here. So someone who's been hiding something that they feel and maybe some secrets. Maybe this is even the third parties that I was picking up on. Someone having multiple suitors. Someone that was kind of doing all of these things behind the scenes. We're about to clarify this 10 karmic completion and the Oya power card. And so that's what you all had to do. And we have Le Nubians Makita. And this is uh, the name of the album is called uh, Princesses Nubians. And it's pretty much reversed because I believe these sisters are French. So I feel like um, it, it's literally Nubian princess. So you all have absolutely tapped into your, uh, you know, your, your inner, you know, empress, inner queen, inner goddess. That's that self-mastery, completing that cycle. You are now princesses and queens and empresses and lordesses and lady feminine that's that feminine energy that big mama energy see that healing from pain from a third party from someone that was you know intertwined or had you in a triangular situation but you were always protected you took the necessary time to heal to take onus accountability you didn't take action for a long time because you were really busy working on yourselves recovering from that pain and there goes you leaving you left the situation behind something that was really a uh, very painful um discovery like i feel like it was almost like a surprise but someone was very cold 
you know, very callous even. And the Six of Swords is showing me like you chose to move on, move away. You found stability elsewhere. You went to go seek a safe haven or create a new safe space for yourselves. You created a protective bubble or you were in a protective bubble. And there goes this Four of Wands. So you had to leave a situation, um, maybe even, you know, a circumstance where you were living with another person. Or maybe this is someone that moved away from you. Someone that was running from something that they truly desire. There goes the 1111 I was referencing, which is associated with that twin flame. So it could have been runner chaser as I was picking up on. So let's tap in. Let's tap in below. Someone's planning and preparing, strategizing how to get you back. You know, because you've already moved on. You've already, you know, relocated some of you all. You know, that's you with that eight of cups I was picking up, like, you know, choosing yourselves. There goes a king of pentacles here. Has their eyes on you. This is someone that's very devoted and committed. And remember, you had commitment show up. So I feel someone's coming in to commit. How do you not commit to this beautiful, regal, royal type of energy? This divine feminine. It's like that is attractive. All this power that you exude and emit, you will attract it. Hence, Mama Lakshmi. See that? That's powerful energy. She has her divine masculine on her arm. And they're both enjoying that abundance, that prosperity. So let's tap in. Cut this deck. Find a spirit of love and of light. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. We clarify the 10, karmic completion, and Mama Oya, power. And we have the Queen of Cups. So this is the energy of you healing thyself. But you can see clearly you're still a queen. You're still a queen and you have these angels, these three angels that are around you. I was picking up your angels, your guides, your ancestors, protecting you and even guiding you, helping you, giving you those little nudges. I feel like for a long time, you really, you know, was was in a, a sad place, you know, feeling very saddened by... The demise of a relationship because I feel like you deeply loved someone, but I don't feel like it was ever reciprocated. You can see your chalice is closed. You're not open to love because I feel you're still in that healing process. And it was because you were going through some sort of karmic circumstance and you had to take your power back. Maybe this was the emotional codependency that I was picking up on. Codependency is not just financial it could be emotional and maybe you were codependent on another person and this person didn't give you much to work with. And when they were apart or when they weren't giving what you needed or required, you felt down. And then you finally chose yourself. You finally chose to stop including this person in the scenario of love and to start loving yourself. And that's when you gained that momentum to Complete that cycle because you cut your karmic cords and focused on healing yourselves. A lot of you were really like focused on the past and really, really almost obsessively um, holding on to someone in particular, to this love ship, to this connection. And I feel like you grew more angry, but it's because you was expecting something. And when you finally chose to close that chalice, that's when you, I feel, took your power back. Because you had your, your, your chalice open and you were open to that connection for a long time, even though you weren't getting much from it. And now that you've closed the chalice, that's like you saying you're closing that chapter with that person. And that's when you were finally able to complete that cycle because you learned the karmic lesson of self-love. Self-love makes you more attractive. No one respects someone that's willing to bend over backwards, that's willing to self, you know, sabotage or 
overcompensate. They will never appreciate that. They will only exploit it. They will only take it for granted. Especially if you're dealing with someone that doesn't, um, you know, have any integrity, they damn so. And we have um, Foxy Brown featuring uh, Spraga Bentons. And this is called Oh Yeah. So Oh Yeah to me is like an epiphany. Like, oh yeah, oh snap. You know, like, oh yeah, like, oh dip. Like, so this is, we're about to clarify. Wow. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. The, the, the Ace of Swords. So if this is not about illumination, clarity, and, you know, having some sort of epiphany and that's what you realize that's when you realize like fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real and the best thing you could ever do for yourselves was to cut yourselves free from someone that wasn't giving you much to work with to begin with as i said you, you holding on to certain ideologies or holding on to um some sort of end result that you're expecting that could only you know prolong uh, uh, you know the pain that you're going through and I feel the moment you cut that off that's when you started to have so much happiness and peace because you realize like dang you know maybe you were fearing an ending because maybe you didn't believe that you could survive without a person that's what codependency is not believing in yourself but your independence is the foundation for your happiness and when you cut yourself free that's this is the beginning of that new you it's powerful and now you have this peace and with oh yeah this was this was the epiphany that sword gives you clarity I feel like you also started to think more logically and not so much emotionally give me one moment let me sip some water my mouth is dry cotton dry So why is this 93 happy ending and this uh, fear, Cali fear and white buffalo woman peace here for the overall energy? Thank you, spirit. I see that this is you thinking of something new, like channeling your energy in something creative, tapping into the divinity of that divine feminine. This is a new idea. This is a new start. Like you could literally be sitting here like, OK, I'm going to focus now, as I said earlier on my family, on my home, on my stability, perhaps on a project, perhaps on some goal or hobby or new endeavor. This is what that is. Redirecting your energy on something that matters. You know, maybe even receiving some sort of blessing, something that made you happy. Maybe you received some sort of promotion. Maybe you moved away. What we have in the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. And we're about to clarify the 32 music and this ISIS protection. So I feel like someone was heavily guarded. And so maybe perhaps they um, they just said things, you know, in a, a, a fashion that seemed to be very cold. This is a very stoic energy. This could be someone that also is like a know-it-all with protection. I feel like this is just something that they use um, to protect themselves, you know, because maybe they are very... Um, Maybe they could be someone that's very insecure or their uh, inability to connect to their uh, femininity or their ability to be vulnerable is something that is, um, it, it, it's, uh, it's a roadblock for them. And so they, they protect themselves by being cold and callous. That 32 music, uh, 32, I was getting like the five of swords. Somebody that just wants to win at all costs. Maybe this was someone that was very judgmental or argumentative or they just said things that was very cutting or biting or cold. And we have Roy Ayer singing Sunshine. So now there's this clarity, this ep epiphany about you seeing something, even seeing themselves. Maybe there's music, you know, that has given them some sort of clarity. Maybe they're clar audience or you're clar audience. But the song that's playing right now, and we're clarifying this 32 card and this ISIS pr protection, I feel like with Sunshine, we just said, like, someone's recognizing that you bring them happiness. You bring them joy. They feel like they have to muster up the strength to come towards you to speak a truth. The sword is up. They're prepared and ready to speak to, to you, to apologize even. 
This was that person that was very guarded too. I feel like they were guarded. They were protecting their hearts. I was picking up like a runner chaser. Maybe they self-sabotage. This is also self-deception. They could have been deceiving themselves. I feel like also I'm hearing they cut their nose off despite their own face even. So why is this 32 music and ISIS protection card here for the person our divine feminine masculine, I mean our divine feminine is attracting to them. They have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. See that? And then we have this card sticking out. Spirit told me to take that as well. See that? Six of swords. So this person now realizes you're the one that got away. I feel like there is distance between the two of you. They caused their their tongue caused some sort of ripple, you know, some sort of ripple effect. It was like it it, it forced you to leave. Like they realized that they didn't you know, they didn't give you much of a choice because of the way that they treated you. Because this is a very guarded person. I feel like this is someone who is very guarded. They guard their heart. They don't emote. They don't express. And with the six of swords and that five, because I was picking up the five of swords, that's 11. So this is someone that could see you potentially as their twin flame, yin to their yang. This could be that person that was constantly self-sabotaging, running away. And now they're having some sort of epiphany with sunshine playing. With Roy Ayers, I feel like this person, Roy, um, maybe someone's name is Roy, pardon me. And I feel like maybe this person aired you out in the last conversation. Like they said some things, as I said, that was very biting, cutting, um, very mean spirited. You know, and there, there could be some regrets. See that? Look, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. And then we also have the Three of Swords. This person deep down... I feel like they really wanted to offer you something, but when you moved on, this broke their heart. I feel like they didn't think they were going to be affected by this, by you moving on, by you moving away, by you creating distance, even by the lack of communication, because I was picking up a sense of like no communication. And this 11 breaks down to two. So now they are like up in their head and their intuition is kind of leading them to, you know, not only are they thinking of you, but they're also like... Um, sending you messages, you know, or attempting to send you messages telepathically. I also feel they was like stuck at a fork in the road, con conflicted because as I said, so social butterflies, like, you know, kind of like dating out there, dating multiple people. Maybe you knew about it, maybe you didn't, but I feel like ultimately it led to some sort of breakdown in the connection or ultimately the demise of the connection with them. And with this six of swords, you know, this is them at a distance wanting to see you, wanting to travel to see you. I feel like there was a lot of hurt and pain. I feel like, you know, if this because we had that parenting card. So if this is like um, you may have moved away with your children, very sad, you know, like feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. You had no choice. Maybe you moved in with relatives because you couldn't really, uh, you know, you couldn't really uh, handle all the bills on your own. Or vice versa. Maybe this is what this person had to experience because you chose to move on and they had to leave. So it was like, you know, but whatever the case, heartbreak, pain, agony, feeling, you know, your loss and also wanting to offer something real now. Going from this page of pentacles to now this ace of pentacles. Wanting to make a real offer, a grand offer, a grand gesture. This could be proposing you know, maybe they have regrets because they didn't propose when they should have. Because I was picking up on the energy of like you all were expecting a proposal or expecting someone to, you know, um, take the relationship to the, the next level to, you know, take it to a more serious level. And they sat on it. They was playing games. They was in two minds because the three, the uh, five and the six of swords that I was picking up because I was picking up five of swords here with that 32. Heavily conflicted, mentally conflicted. So that breaks down to 11, which is two. So that's the two of swords. Like they didn't make a decision, you know, they didn't see something that was standing right in their face. This is like something being hidden right in front of your face and not seeing it. They didn't recognize sunshine, you know, and you were their sunshine. You were their source of happiness, their peace. And so this is what they're. I feel having heavy regrets about because that's why the protection is there. They were too protective, too guarded. They didn't let you in. And we have total, um, do you think about us? I can't make this ish up. 
and we got this destiny card here. And we're about to pull the card for the three creativity, the um, purpose card, uh, the self-trust card, and the strategy card for how they feel about you. So they feel you are definitely destined. This is a destined type of love. They feel that there is some sort of turning point, like they want to turn things around, I'm hearing. They feel very fortunate to have had you in their lives because now they're seeing the whole purpose of this connection. This is not accidental. This wasn't a happenstance situation. This was destined. Like you came into their life for a reason, for a meaning, for a purpose. You taught them something. This is powerful. And I'm hearing this is a destiny type of love. And this person does think of you. And they're thinking very strategically on how to return, on how to reunite, reconnect, repair. And that's why the strategy card is here. And they also know that you're heavily guarded, but they know that you're going to trust yourself. So whatever they, however they're coming in, they know they have to come in authentic. That's why Baba Yaga, authenticity came in because they know if they're coming in with an apology, it has to, it has to be real because you're not going to accept anything less than because you now know your worth and value. You're now standing in your power. With this wheel of fortune, this person definitely, there's something turning. I also feel this person sees you as very fortunate, very successful, as I said. You know your purpose, you know your path, you know why you're here. Some of you all have started to tap into your creative skills, gifts, and talents. Opened up businesses, started some sort of spiritual practice, spiritual career. And they're watching all of this from a distance. Why is strategy here? Purpose. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Didn't I say you all were the divine feminines? When I looked at the clock, it had reduced. I think it was like 21 or something like that on the clock. And I was like, that is the number of the world card. And then we had ready for the world. Uh, let me love you down. There goes the world card, beloveds. So this person is at a distance. They also think the world of you. But they also see that you have evolved into that very powerful uh, spiritual divine feminine like you have ascended even in your knowledge of self even in your spirituality you've come into some sort of spiritual alignment you have spiritual strength you learned how to manifest as above so below as within so without you've also completed karmic cycles you know I feel like something that's coming full circle something has come full circle you've wrapped up karmic cycles learn those lessons and I feel like there's some sort of victory ahead for you. Blessings, rewards, recognition. That's why prosperity and this plenty is here because you've done the work. What did I say about this burden? They're very burdened by the distance. They're very overwhelmed. You know, not really you know, initially seeing your worth and value and now realizing like, dang, you know, this is, this is a, a burden that weighs heavily on them because why? They had all these different options and you chose to leave this situation behind. They're not sure if you're going to be accepting of their um, return or their apology, but they see this is how they see you as the world. Like, you know, you may also be, again, you know, at a distance, but that Ten of Wands reduces to one. So they see you're moving forward with your life. You're moving ahead. They could also see you as having a lot of blessings, a lot of opportunities coming in. You know, I feel like they were also like, Again, distracted by the distractions, thinking the grass would be greener on the other side and not seeing the blessing that you were, you know, not not seeing the blessing that you were in their lives. But now they see it. I feel like they were under some sort of perhaps spiritual attack as well or under some sort of spell with this haze. This could also just be, you know, confusion and delusion. But this is how they feel secretly. You know, this is what's hidden, the Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is them feeling like they can have, you know, all that they desire with you. You know, they feel like you bring not only happiness, but you also bring a sense of purpose into their life. Like you make them feel like they can do anything. You know, you make them feel powerful, capable. You know, you make them feel like they are... Um, you know, fully capable of of um, being, you know, the type of man, you know, that they are here to be. If they had the right woman, which they feel is you, they feel like they can do anything, be anything. 
This also speaks to like happy house, happy spouse. They can see themselves being, you know, the father to your children. They also feel this pain. This is like heavy energy, regret, remorse, disappointment. And they want your forgiveness for doing this to you because they know this is how they treated you. They had you in the dark about a lot of things. You didn't know half of the ish that was going on right underneath your nose. I feel like this person definitely backstabbed you and betrayed you. Maybe they went through a situation with whomever they chose over you and they were backstabbed and betrayed and now they're seeing everything like flash before their eyes like they had this amazing opportunity with someone so dope and they took it for granted only to end up with somebody that did this to them. We have flow tree, flow etic. So I feel like you definitely um, just continue to move forward. But I feel like with you, they feel like everything was fluid. You know, it was it was fluid. The relationship just flowed. The conversations just flowed. It was very stimulating. It was very, it was very, uh, it was just a very um, magnetic connection they felt. And this is why I feel like they really want your forgiveness, you know. Let's tap in. Why is compassion... 99 here, Baba Yaga, authenticity here for what's hidden. And we have this Eight of Swords, trap, entrapment, mental, you know, entrapment. But the Knight of Pentacles flew on the floor. So this is what they are trying to do. What did I say? Taking their time to get it right. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't rush like the Knight of Swords, Cups or, or Wands. They really take their time because they're strategizing. And that's what we saw earlier was this this person is really being very strategic they're dotting their i's crossing their t's because they want to present the best version of themselves to you because you present that to them and with floetic i feel like this person is really coming in to offer you something real something solid something tangible because they want to cultivate nurture a real relationship someone willing to build with you they're up in their head with how to do this. Eight of Swords, ruminating and pining, agonizing. This is self-imposed. This is anxious energy. Maybe they're very anxious because they want to come in, but they're very anxious because nerves got the best of them. Because when they reflect back on what they did, they know this is how they treated the Divine Feminine. They had you carrying all the baggage. This is a whole lot of wands for a divine feminine to carry. And I was picking up on the fact that you had to tap into that masculine energy to, to deal with a lot of that responsibility. That should have been, you know, reserved for the masculine to do. So when they don't pick up their slack, guess who has to do it? You. And so now they realize like, dang, I did a whole lot to this divine feminine. And this is because they had blinders on. They couldn't see something clearly. So let's tap in, beloved. So why is um, 16 rebirth? Yemen, Yah, hope. Hera, commitment. Lakshmi, prosperity. And Poma, pom Pomona, plenty here. For the outcome for my divine feminines. And then we're going to wrap it up. They have a message of love and light. Spirit, thank you, spirit. Look at that. Death. Death is rebirth. Death is transformation. That is exactly what we have here. Can't make this up. Rebirth. So this is just double confirmation. Perhaps this person has also gone through some sort of death, through some sort of major transformation because they are mirroring your energy here with what's hidden. You know, as I said earlier, the nine is associated with the hermit. Hermit is a wizard. Hermit knows the answers they seek found within. So this person knows that in order for them to come towards you, they're going to have to get their act right together. But they also see that you have done some major work, transformation. They're trying to match your vibration, trying to match your fly. And because you've gone through so much change, because you've experienced these, these startling metamorphoses, because you've shifted your energy, because you've had a death, you know, of the old version of you. This is why Lakshmi's here. Prosperity. This is why plenty is here. This is why commitment is here. Because that's the wish fulfillment. You have marriage in your future, beloveds. 
I feel someone has also, because I was picking up the Hermit with that number five as well. I mean, the Hierophant, pardon me, with that number five as well. And the Hierophant is when you go seek wise counsel. So someone was seeking wise counsel, and this could have been what caused the death of their own, um, you know, their old belief systems and ideologies in order to come towards you. But there's a major transformation. This also represents like marriage, commitment, someone coming in wanting to put a ring on that finger, you know, finally committing, finally proposing, finally letting you know how they feel and not trying to be all guarded and ish. And we have um, Lisa, Lisa and the cult jam. I wonder if I take you home. Someone's name could be Lisa. Maybe some of you felt like somebody was under some sort of like mind control, witchcraft, because with cult, I just feel like somebody you felt, you know, maybe there's this, uh, you know, potential that because there was such um, a disconnect, maybe you all believed that someone was under some sort of control or some sort of um, spell or witchcraft or something. Maybe this person also felt that and maybe they learn something by sitting at the feet of this elder, this master teacher, maybe even reading their basic instructions before leaving earth, doing their own due diligence to, to grow, to heal, to mature. But this transformation is the reason why all this new energy is coming in because it's the death of the old, the karmic completion. It's a rizzy rap, beloveds. You all should be proud of yourselves. This is an amazing reading, especially being that we are about to close up 2022. This is a six universal year, and now we're entering into a seven universal year, and it's all about personal power. It's all about growing. It's all about being tapped into your Christ consciousness, to your divinity, tapping into your skills, gifts, and talents, and really mastering your craft and stepping into your truth, being your authentic selves. And it's no, it's no surprise that the 16 is, you know, the outcome. That's again, seven. So you all are very in tune, very tapped in. And look at that. There goes the chariot. I was talking about the chariot. There it is right underneath here. And there goes the eight of pentacles along with the queen of pentacles. See that? Everything that I mentioned is here. So somebody's rushing in and they want to work things out. They see you as someone that they can build with. They see you as very grounded, balanced. They see you as a healer. They see you as someone that they, they can build you know, some sort of nucleus. This is someone that wants to commit, someone willing to compromise, someone that wants to work this out. And they want to take you home, so they may want to, like I said, marry. They want to commit. This is your energy because this could be that person that left you out in the cold. And this is why they're agonizing. Literally every card I mention is here, the Nine of Wands. This person really played with your mind had you, you know, this is like mine, uckery, this is like gaslighting. They left you out in the cold, abandoned you, and they have regrets. They up at night agonizing over this ish because now they see you as what? The divine feminine. Now they see you as what? The yin to the yang. But what was they doing? Trying to be a playboy, dating this one, that one, sticking and moving. You know what I'm talking about? This is what they was doing. Third party shenanigans, holding back. And guess what they had? A little bit of karma. Mama Ma Aunt knocked on their door. And so they had to suffer. And that's what that Ten of Swords was. Ten of Pentacles is here. This is how they see you. So this is the energy, beloveds. I can't make this up. I just wanted to show y'all all these cards because it's like everything that I said was is, is right here. But they're rushing in because I feel like they did build up like a little bit of courage. You know, and, and they're in emotional equilibrium now. Maybe they got their finances together. Maybe they broke free from some sort of karmic. And now they're ready to come towards you. Because like I said, that white and black represents yin and yang. So they see you as the divine feminine. We just saw the 1111 card, which is right behind the empress. So this is what they feel. They want to build with you now. You know, that's marriage again. That's That's another symbol of marriage. That's another symbol of you know, residing together. Remember, we just had Lisa Lisa in the cult jam talking about, I wonder if I take you home. So this person wants to build a home. Remember, you know, a house is not a home. They want to build a home with you. This is your reading, beloved, divine, feminine. I hope the messages resonated for you. 
Um, I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message has resonated, please be kind. Hit that like button, the share button. Uh, definitely hit the bell notification if you are new. Hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloved's love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat old ashe. Peace.